We are the Society Sempai Setens, an order within the Catholic Church founded in 1970. We moved to the Philippines in 1994 and founded this novitiate in 1999. So we started in 2012. We had to go down six meters uh, because this ground is rice field and it's rather soft on the top. And uh, laid down the foundation six meters down. And well, four years later now, 2017, we are basically finished, unfortunately not totally finished, um, but had set the day of consecration for to, uh, to tomorrow, which is the 13th of May, since this church is dedicated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And it's nice to see the development of St. Bernard Novitiate to this stage in its mission where, where a church is now being built uh, this is a development. Uh, most of the places the Society of St. Pius X uh, begins some kind of apostolate. It always starts out very small. And through the years, as that mission grows, just like any of the, the missions in the history of the church, you get to a, a maturity in which uh, a congregation has filled up uh, the pews and the need for, the need for a bigger place the need for a proper church. It was the idea of the superior, Father Daniels, to build a wonderful church, a church in honor of Our Lady of Fatima, of her same Immaculate Heart. This church will be consecrated day after day, 100 years, exactly after the first apparition of Our Lady in Fatima. This is a wonderful and a great day because it shows that all what we do is entirely focused on Our Lady, who, as she said, whose Immaculate Heart is our refuge and the way which leads us to heaven. She alone is able to bring us her Son and to form the young vocations to become holy brothers and later on some of them holy priests. We hope, of course, and pray uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph that uh, we uh, the church may serve the um, novitiate well uh, for many, many vocations, many young men to come to give their life to God. What is the church? The church is Jesus. And this place now is, belongs, really belongs to God. Now God has taken possession of this place. This place is holy, is sacred. This place now is like a fountain of grace. When you come here, it is one of the prayers the bishop is asking God that all those who come here may receive the forgiveness for their sins, may receive all the graces they need. And it is really, really happening. <laughs>